Coming up next, News Jerk. If the news doesn't break, we don't fix it. Tonight's show presented by Dave Story. You what? Pregnant? How did that happen? Yeah, I think I got it. Is there anything I can do? I meant anything more. Of course I love you. I asked you to marry me, didn't I? Yes, I know it was. But I was on one knee whilst I was texting. Well, I had to be. I was at 30,000 feet and the stewardess had already given me a warning about updating my Facebook status. I'll be right over. I'm a bit busy now. I'll be about an hour. No, I can't come now. My nan's having an operation. No, not to dig her up. My other nan. Look, it's not you, it's me. You didn't have to agree that quick. No, don't cry, don't cry. We may have to sell the iPhone to pay for nappies. I'm not heartless. I gave you everything I could. Yeah, but it was a good seven minutes, wasn't it? No, oh, hey, stop talking like that. You won't have twins. Twins don't run in your family. No, Uncle Eric and Auntie Erica are not twins. They're the same bloke. Women don't have moustaches. OK, other than her. Look, I've got to go now. I'll be over as soon as I'm done here, right? Ditto. It is romantic. Patrick Swayze says it in Ghost. I don't remember him saying that. Oh, I've got to go now. I'll catch you later. OK, bye. Good evening. As you can see tonight, we are broadcasting from the BBC's very own Salford Studios. Be nice when they're finished. Uh, we start tonight's show with a report from our roving reporter, Ray Jackson, who is currently downtown. We can go over there now live, where it appears a failed robbery has resulted in a tense hostage situation. Oh, uh, just a uh, slight technical difficulty there. Um, that's not uh, live downtown. Uh, maybe on a Saturday night it is, uh, but not just at the moment. Uh, so I'll just fix those technical problems. And there we are, back live. Hi Ray, can you tell us what's happening on the scene? Good evening, Dave. It appears that a bungle bank job has led to an unidentified man taking hostages inside the bank. Events are unfolding as we speak, but the Chief of Police is confident the situation can be resolved without the need to use deadly force. Someone call 911! Someone call 911! I think we'll leave that story there right now uh, and moving straight on. Uh, television broadcasting auto queue operators uh, disappointed at a three year pay freeze uh, are to go on strike uh, with immediate. And moving on from that story, um, The Voice UK has cancelled all of its live shows after its audience, ironically, uh, followed suit with the judges and turned its back on the show. Plastic bags in Scotland are to have a minimum charge of five pence each. Uh, once again, the cost of a greener planet uh, is yet another stealth tax for those who enjoy auto-erotic asphyxiation, uh, so I heard. Uh, doctors are planning to safeguard their pensions with further strike action. Uh, that way, without uh, life-saving treatment for the sick and elderly, uh, more will die, leaving more money in the pot for them. Oh, and tonight's weather forecast. I'm just hearing that the weather forecasters have gone on strike too, um, so I'll have to get Bill's equipment and do uh, tonight's forecast. OK, here goes. 11. That's uh, sunshine for Monday. 8. Showers for Tuesday. And Wednesday, another 8. That means nuclear winter for Wednesday. Hopefully things will be picking up come Thursday. That just leaves me tonight to do uh, the results for the uh, health lottery draw. The NHS is way of scheduling its resources. And the numbers are 2, 1, 24, 32, and 30. Uh, news just coming in now that there is one lucky winner this week, and it's Edna Bainbridge from Stoke-on-Trent. Well done, Edna. That means you get to go in for your hip operation uh, after only three cancellations. Pity you didn't get the bonus ball, else you could have had it done through Booper. That's all from me tonight. I've been Dave Storey. Good night. <laughs>